and Shalom. I want to give all honor and glory and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakar Kadash, the ones to the apostles, a great millstone, the Ruel, citation blessings to the hopeful elect, pushing his words to sit in the truth, risking our lives to do so. It's your brother Fire with another video. Basically, this video is about how this world that we living in has just gotten progressively worse and nobody seems to see that this world is completely off. Because if they did, I mean, you would think people would do something about it, but the Lord got it that way to where he could put blinders over the people's eyes and the people are like zombies just allowing this wickedness just to continue on. And you got to ask yourself, I'm like, I'm 50 years old, and I remember the 70s, 80s, 90s, and, and now we're in the 2000s, and I've seen this world get pro progressively worse, man. I'm like, I remember when um, television only stayed on for a certain period of time and then it shut off and then it came back on in the morning, you know? I remember when it was only like three, three channels on TV, three or four channels, you know? Uh, stores wasn't open uh, 24 hours a day, you know? You didn't have all this, uh, over-sexualized society, you know. I remember those things, and for a person my age to not see that this world is uh, completely wicked is really baffling to me, man. I'm just like, wow, you can't see that something's wrong, that the way this earth is it, the way this uh, this thing is going, I'm like, it's, it's just completely off, man. I, I, I don't remember a time where, like, everybody is, is just sick and, um, you know, everybody's on medication. It wasn't like that, man, when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, man, where everybody was just, you know sick you have uh you had young people dying it, it, it just it, it wasn't that way but now it is and it just i'm just looking at people my age because i can't blame uh younger folks that this is just the world they live in they don't i mean people here and, and uh that's young they don't they really can't see nothing wrong i don't expect them to see it you know it's just the people my age you saw progressively get worse, you know? And this is, uh, it's a lot of This is, uh, Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put light for darkness, put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's what I've been seeing as I then grew up through the years, you know. At one point, homosexuality was frowned upon. Now it's accepted. And, you, and people my age is accepting it. That's how you know, I'm like, Wow, this is crazy, man. I remember a day when people was, was completely in the closet. You didn't see homosexuals just roaming the streets openly like this, man. But now they're able to just do that, you know? That's how you, that's how you should know, hey, man, something's just completely wrong, man. Because this didn't happen, man, you know? Homosexuals just prancing around the streets. You didn't see uh, men dressed up as women. And it's okay. <laughs> you know? 
that was that was unheard of. That was unheard of when I was growing up. It was unheard of. All the way up until then, maybe two thousands. You didn't you didn't even see it in the nineties. <laughs> you know, now you just it, it's just it's not it's in, they didn't made it normal, and that's what this place is, man. It's the it's just trying to make wickedness normal, man. It's just I don't I don't understand it, man. I don't understand it, but I do understand it, but. It's frustrating to see older people accepting this. I'm like, what are you doing? You mean you you you, you just totally accepting this way of life? It's 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 crazy. This is uh, Proverbs 17 and 13. Whosoever, who, whoso regardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. And this is what happens, man. When you reward, you, you say it's okay, you know, uh, okay, okay, let's say if your son say he's a homosexual. And you basically allow that to happen, and it's in your home. You 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 reward that behavior. You know you can't you cannot reward evil, man. You can't just allow that to to go on in your home, man. That that child has to leave, you know, because in the ancient world, you can have that kid stoned. You that kid will be out of there. Your child will be out of there. Completely, because in the ancient world that was that was not allowed to be amongst Israel. You know, homosexuals were put to death, man. Period. What no gray area, none of that. You was put to death, man. Period. Let's get it in the um in the law. This is a. Uh, Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lied with mankind as he lied with a woman, both of them had committed an abomination and they they shall surely be put to death. See, there wasn't no playing around with it, man. It was just cut and dry, you know? If you was a homosexual, man, you was got put to death. That's how you know something is wrong. As I grew up, it wasn't you didn't see it. Now it's okay all of a sudden. You know, something wrong with you for uh pointing out that, hey man, that ain't right for a man to be with another man. Something wrong with you. You you homophobic. No. <laughs> no. You know, that's these terms that this devil has made to for you to keep quiet. You know, you know it's off. It doesn't it doesn't profit anything. All it does is create death. You you can't even create life with two of the same kind having sex. You know, even a child would knows that that ain't right. Even a child know that's not right. You know? It's supposed to be a man and a woman, a mom and a dad. Even a child understand that. That's odd. You got two moms. That's ridiculous, man. So man, that's why we we need a savior, man. This place is this place is completely off. It's crazy, man. It's like you in a twilight zone. At one point, mom and dad was accepted. Now, you can have two moms or two dads. That's ridiculous, man. That is confusion. And the Lord said he's not the author of confusion. You know? But our people don't care. They don't want to read. They don't, they don't give a damn. 
oh, okay, yeah, we just accept it because your paycheck uh, we, uh, uh, depends on it, that you just cooperate and don't say anything. This is how you know something's wrong when they can just, you have to conform or you lose your job. If you say anything about it, you lose your job. It's ridiculous, man. You know? And we have to get out of here, man. It's no way a society could be functional when all this di a, a confusion is around you. You know? So with that, just a, a quick video, man. It was just on my spirit. I was watching the video and um, the elder Yashawama was like, you know, uh, this world is this world is completely upside down and crazy, man. You can't you can't you can't live in a society like this. You know, it's not healthy. It promotes death. Basically, this society promotes death. It doesn't promote life. You know, so how can you live in a society that promotes death and not life? Hope that was edifying. I want to give all honor and glory and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakadash. Salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.